Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola G7 Power, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So I'm gonna quickly skip through this so you can see that the device is locked, and in the meantime, you can connect to Wi Fi because we're gonna need it soon. And also, once you connect to your Wi-Fi, you just want to go back to the uh, first page. Okay, so there we go. We can verify it either with a pattern or using the Google account right here. So now to get started with the process, we're going to go back to the first page, like I said. And number one, we're going to change the language to uh, a different language that has its own keyboards. So something like Russian, Greek uh, will work just fine enough. Uh, there we go. I'm going to choose Greek right here. And uh, let's proceed through the setup. And now we're just going to go back to uh, where we came from, which is the uh, verification of Google account. So let's stop right over here and you will see that there is a uh, globe icon. You want to hold that and number one, let's change it to QWERTY and then hold it again and select the language select option right there and at the bottom right here. And you'll have different languages provided right over here. Now you want to choose any kind of language uh, right here that has a arrow. And from there, tap on three dots and go to help and feedback, which is the second option in the drop down menu. And then in the search bar, you just want to search for uh, using a Morse code. Um, writing MO uh, just seems to pop up the suggested, so use Morse code. And from here, you have the video. You want to tap on it and it will reload it. And then we have the option with three dots for watch later, which is the clock icon right here. Tap on it and it opens up your browser. So let's accept and continue and no thanks. We don't want to sign in. From here, I'm going to tap at the top and navigate into hard reset that info website. like so and let's go now once it loads you want to tap on the three bars right here and go into the downloads category and first thing we're going to download is the apex launcher so just type in apex like so and you can see there it is um, tap on download and then scroll down and you have one more download button right here. Now, instead of tapping on it, you want to hold it and choose the second option from here. And this will open it up in an incognito window, which will also uh, remove the bug that I've encountered plenty of times with it not uh, downloading to the end. So it's just kind of like stuck at 100% and it never finishes. So opening it up in an incognito will resolve that problem. So once it's done downloading, I'm going to tap on open, which is right over here, the blue text. And we want to install it, but before we can, um, we need to allow Google to be able to install our Android to install from Google as in a source. So tap on the option on the right, which is the settings. And from here, check this on, go back and choose install, which again is located on the right side. And once it's done installing, you want to open it up, which is again on the right side. And from here, we are going to go into the web browser again. And we're going to download once it actually loads. Hello. Oh, there we go. Step back once more. And in here, 
we are going to type in the search bar and you're gonna search for Android 8. Like so, search. Again, same thing, download, scroll down, hold it and choose open incognito. Okay. And install, install. And we can actually let's stop on done and get back. There we go. So I'm also going to go into the settings. As you can see, I just tap on the circle with from the app tray, go into settings from here, scroll all the way down to the last option, tap on the second option, which is the one with the globe. And then on the very top, you have uh, like different symbols for languages, um, tap on it, tap on the plus symbol and choose English. So right over here, region and then drag English over to the top. And this will change your default language of the entire system to English. So from here, uh, we can back out again. And now we want to open up the app that we have installed. Let's see where it is. Can't seem to find it right now. Now, if you can't find it, just like me, we can just go back to our Chrome, go to downloads and reinstall it again, assuming it's not here for some reason. So let's go back to where I was. I'm just gonna re-download the, this option, the Android 8. If I were actually to put it in the correct place. So now let's tap on open and from here we're going to go into the Google Account Manager APK install and select for version 6.0. Go again to the settings, check this on, go back and install. And tap on done, tap on bypass FRP, browser sign in, tap on three dots and go to browser sign in. And in here, using your Google account, you wanna uh, log in. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you can always create one. So let's do that. If you well, if you need to create it, then do it on your computer, I would advise. Uh, but if you have it, then use it to log in. Now I have mine, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put in a password, so I'm gonna take that off the screen. Now I stop on, oops, uh, apparently I typed it in incorrectly. There we go. So now it's correct. So from here, once we have logged in, you want to go back and in our web browser, you can tap on the search field and we're going to type in google.com slash Android, Android slash find, there we go. And again, we will need to log in to the uh, same account that we have used right a second ago. And 
And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on the password. And log into it. Let's close this and this. And also let's close this. And from here, once we are on the app, you want to tap on the refresh button. There we go. So if it shows you the percentage of the device uh, battery, then that's good. And then we want to go into uh, to configure the uh, security, which is the option with like a phone and a gear icon next to it for settings. Uh, as you can see, it added a new option. And we want to select the last option on the phone with an X icon. Stop on it. This is to erase all the data from the device. And stop on the green text right here to erase it. Again, we need to log in. And again, I'm gonna put in the password. And you can see uh, permanently erase Motorola Moto G7 power, erase. Your device has been erased. I believe we need to wait a second for it to actually tick. There we go. As you can see now it's beginning. Now this will take a couple minutes and once it's finished, we then should be greeted with the Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is uh, visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So let's go through the setup process once more. Now this time around, you will be able to skip basically everything. So apart from Wi-Fi, apparently, let me put in the password for it. And then we can use our Google account that we have used before to bypass the uh, device. So it will be for me the hard reset info. There we go, there's the password. So let's put that in. Now at this moment you can set up your device as however you like. It considered the account that we have put in right now as the kind of like a previous account. Um, the one that we basically used to reset it through the Google page um, is used as the old account now and once you input it the device becomes unlocked. And you can see that we're now in the home screen. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.